At least 3.6 million Filipinos are facing mental health issues during this pandemic. I, myself, had my own share of mental health struggles. But with the love and understanding of my family and seeking support from the experts, I was able to cope with my anxiety. I joined Mr. Tanawan Pasaka to, to use this as a platform in normalizing conversations and opening up on our mental health struggles. Let us destigmatize and prioritize mental health care. And to all the mental health warriors, always remember that whoever you are and whatever you've been through, you are not alone in this battle. Trix Patrick Tayanes Morante, 21, Can Ramos! <laughs> Pasaka Hakanunay Nga Bahandi Inspired by the Pasaka Festival Which pays homage to Tanawan's patroness Our Lady of Assumption This attire symbolizes the municipality's driving livelihood Such as fishing, farming, pottery, and weaving as well as its natural resources. The accent colors blue and gold symbolize the water and its abundance in marine resources. The wing-like structure of the costume imitates waves. Shells and fishing nets are featured in the main ensemble with the back part bearing the bounty from the sea. Tanawananans are known to be resilient Hardworking, and these characteristics are reflected in this festive attire. Designed by Madame Eva Tayanes, ladies and gentlemen, Can Ramos!
Patrick Morante. Ikaw ba yung may drum and bugle dito? Parang kay, grabe. Ayan! Oo nga, may drum and bugle nga. Ay, you have a lot of tarpaulins. Ang daming tarpaulins, ang daming balloons. May drum and bugle. Please take this opportunity to thank all of your supporters. Wow! I feel so great hearing all the screams and cheers of the people of Tanawan and the people of Canramos. Thank you so much, guys. Especially to my family. Ito, I'm, I'm, I'm just curious. Kasi, grabe kanina pa, during the exposures, you have a lot of supporters. May patraman bigol pa nga, may patarpolin. Does it give you pressure? Mas na pressure ka ba that you know that there are a lot of supporters who are uh, supporting you tonight? in carrying yourself on stage to get the crown of Mr. Tanawan Pasaka 2022? Actually, I feel both. It makes me... It, it makes me pressure and... But it also motivates me to do well on stage and do my best as a candidate of Mr. Tanawan Pasaka. Ito, natanong ko na to sa iba. Is this your first time? To join pageant, tapusin ko ha. Is this your first time to join pageants? This is my third actual pageant. And first is I joined La TSHI Lakan ng Kalikasan way back in 2015, I guess. Then the next one is Mr. Canramos 2019. Then I also joined online pageants since the, in the pageant industry switched to virtual platforms because of pandemic. And virtual. How was your experience? I'm just curious. How was your experience with virtual pageants? As a pageant enthusiast, uh, for me, it's more hard to do virtual pageants because you will provide everything. You will provide your your stage. You will provide the all the things that you will need to in order to have that virtual pageant. Ayan. So, medyo mas mahirap. But this is your biggest stage. So let's conquer the stage, Mr. Teen Tanawan 22, uh, Mr. Tanawan Pasaka 2022. And for you to do that, please pick a question. You picked question number two. The question is, what is your stand on the call to return the mandatory ROTC? Again, what is your stand on the call to return the mandatory ROTC? Well, first of all, this mandatory ROTC is very much political and controversial topic or issue here in our country right now. But please bear with me. I will answer it with my very humble opinion. So, mandatory reserve officers training groups aims to provide military service to citizen soldiers for disaster and national defense preparedness. Or we all know for a fact that our nation is prone to disasters and I believe that we need this mandatory ROTC and we also need this for national security. With this very reason, then I am up for returning back of mandatory ROTC. However, we should never forget the hazing incidents from the, week, from, from the year 2002 that causes this mandatory ROTC to be abolished. With that, I hope that the government, and we should demand the government to do their task, to do their task in scrutinizing all the necessary implementation guidelines before returning back this mandatory ROTC. For this not to happen again, the sad incidents from the past. For I believe that we can be better today if we will learn from our past. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mr. Tanawa, number 13.
Choice Award is Mr. Ten Allen, candidate number. Candidate number 13, Trix Patrick Morante of Barangay Can Ramos. Pasaka number 13 is Trix Patrick Tayanis Morante. of the crowd will be awarded by Mr. Terence Jan Cinco, Mr. Tanawa in 2011. Our Mr. Darling at the crowd is Mr. Tanawa number. Mr. Tanawa, Pasaka number 13, Trex Patrick Morante of Barangay Canramos. Award is a Mr. Eloquence. To present the award for Mr. Eloquence is Mr. Richie Abanio. Our Mr. Eloquence is a Mr. Tan Awan, candidate number. Candidate number 13, Trix Patrick Morante of Barangay Can Ramos. Oo, sige, pupunta na po. Oo, parang ikaw ata yung gusto nila. How are you feeling now? I am excited for the announcement of Top 5. You are excited? Excited? Not pressured? A little bit. Do you think you'll be one of our Top 5 finalists? I believe in myself and I have faith to God and I, I believe I could enter the Top 5. You believe you could conquer and be part of the top five. Ayan, so pasalamatan mo muna lahat yung mga nagsisigawan mula kanina. Feeling ko bukas, wala na mga bosses yan. Pasalamatan mo muna ang mga supporters mo. Well, I will drop this opportunity to, to thank my family, especially my mama, papa, and tito, and tita who designed my barong and festivals. Thank you so much to my classmates from Tacloban, from classmates from Tanawan, and from my friends from Tanawan and from Can Ramos. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, my heart is overflowing of gratitude tonight. Thank you, thank you so much. Ano, oh, maraming maraming salamat. At bukas, oh, oh, uminom kayo ng maraming salabat, ha? Kasi pa...
Ladies and gentlemen, the scores are in and we will be announcing our top five finalists. In no particular order. Dahil nagpasalamat ka, you're also part number 13, Trix Patrick T. Morante. Now, let's call it number 13. Last two envelopes. The question is, if ever pandemic worsen again in the town of Tanawan, would you suggest hard lockdown to be implemented again and why? Again, if ever pandemic worsen again in the town of Tanawan, would you suggest hard lockdown to be implemented again and why? If the pandemic situation gets worse again, definitely, yes, I will go for lockdown. Because I will not risk the life and the health of Tanawananons because it is the most important thing that we have here on Earth. Then if we will opt to hard, hard lockdown, then the government should also provide assistance, especially to the people who are suffering from, from poverty and especially the, those people who will be affected by their livelihood. Then if that lockdown will be happened again, then the Tanawanan should be disciplined enough. Disciplined for one, one main goal, which is to have a better town and for us, Tanawan, Tanawananon, to heal as one. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mr. Tanawa, number 13. My God, this is a very heavy task because tonight we will be announcing our first runner-up first. But the question is, who will be our first runner-up? Would candidate number one still be first runner-up this year? Or would he be able to get the Mr. Tanawan crown? But before I announce it, just a reminder for both of you, in case the Mr. Tanawan Pasaka 2022 would not be able to fulfill his duty as a Mr. Tanawan Pasaka 2022. The first runner-up will take over his place. So, I will be announcing our first runner-up. To present the award for Mr. Tanawan Pasaka 2022, first runner-up is one of the Board of Judges, Ms. Kisha Hani Panis. Honorable Attorney Sagani Espada, and Honorable, I mean, the Vice President of Tanawan Gays Association, Mr. Mark Villero. And to present the award for Mr. Tanawan Pasaka 2022, who is also the Mr. Kita Ala Farm 2022, to be awarded by Ms. Jill Bolinbach of Germany and Ms. Rhea Tamara Siller of Germany as well. And the presenters are the Chairman of the Board of Judges, Mr. Jejumar G. Villacorte, the President of Tanawan Gays Association, Mr. Othnel M. Olino, and our beloved Honorable Mayor, Mayor Maria Gina E. Marilou. Take it away, Barbet. Woo! Our first runner-up! Garnering an average score of 95.64%. Very close fight, ha? Huh? See, first runner-up, 95.64. At si Mr. Tanawan is 96.04. 0.5 lang po ang pinag-uusapan natin dito. 0.50 lang po. Our first runner-up is Mr. Tanawan. Candidate Topper. Candidate Topper 13. Tricks Patrick T. Morante. Pasaka 
Tuati, 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 tuati.